blue-green algae. It kept some people from jumping into area lakes last summer. But as 2 News reporter Liz Bryant found, this season there's a new plan to distill those fears. Sam Ziara is on his way to the dock, but these buckets aren't carrying bait. This cable is called a hydrolab sond. He's a human research vessel for the GRDA. And with every splash goes a water quality test. Temperature, dissolved oxygen, pH, and a host of other water quality parameters. In just a few weeks, when lake season rolls in, Sam will analyze Grand's water in 14 different locations. Duck Creek, Horse Creek, Ketchum Cove. He'll fill this bottle up in search of anything abnormal. Test for uh, bacteria, E. coli, and Entercoccus. He's also looking for blue-green algae, and when it's in full bloom, there are very high levels of pH and dissolved oxygen, about 200% above normal. When the cells rupture, when they die, they release a uh, toxin. Someone who also tests for toxins is avid fisherman Dale Hare. That's up there behind the dam today. What Dale reels in, he sends to Harvard University for mercury and lead levels. If you don't have good water, you probably got contaminated fish. That's why the new water quality testing is important to him. You can't clean fish in the water when there are high levels of BGA, and Dale won't eat it either. I've noticed it for the last five years or longer. And you know, it just now come to light, I guess. Dale will be able to see the water quality results online before he cranks that motor. It's going to help everybody if they can figure this out and keep it under control. The website will be up and running by Memorial Day. Just go to grda.com for a link. Reporting in Langley, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.